Hi guys, Sarah from Calling Corners here, and today I wanted to introduce you to a new line of pendulums and divining tools available at our shop. Uh, I'm going to apologize, I know you can probably see my computer glare in my glasses. I am looking at some, some notes as I do this video. But jumping right into the products, these tools are from a woman named Alicia Aratin, created by her, and she is the founder of the Alicia Center of Wellbeing. A little bit about Alicia is she's a woman who's really dedicated her life to metaphysics and healing in Canada. Her professional education was as an environmental engineer in Poland, and then she had come here and began her center, and I think for the last 18 years or so, has been working and using it as a forum really to educate people on metaphysics and manifesting their dreams and healing methods as well. She um, is very well known. She and her products are known interna internationally, rather, um, with dousers and dousing groups. I actually had an opportunity not too long ago to meet her myself in person, and that was fantastic. She's very passionate about what she does, and it's a little infectious. It makes you very passionate about what she does also. Um, her work it really is about science and also spirituality kind of coming together. And she delves really deep into, into that on her website, intuitivedousing.com, where you can also uh, register to do courses with her and learn more about her work that way. Today I wanted to keep it simple though and just do a bit of a show and tell with you what, of what you can find in our shop now. So, most of her pendulums are made of brass and shaped for healing purposes. And what we mean by uh, healing purposes is really just Using the pendulum as a method to harness energy in an effort to like help or fix issues we might have with um, mental in mental areas or physical areas or emotional as well. So all over the board really. She also does these, which are basic pendulums. And they are just really meant as just that, perfect for beginners, um, basic shapes, and really just a great method of asking yes or no questions and learning how to ask questions properly. And as you can see, this one's a really talkative guy. <laughs> I really enjoy that one. Moving on to the color therapy and the healing pendulums. Um, that's really just about the shape. This one's called Isis, I believe. And the healing pendulums are called that because they are shaped based on sacred geometry. And all that really means is that these shapes have their own healing properties already. So when we attach a string to them and use them as a pendulum, we're harnessing that energy that's already present. And that's uh, generally what that sort of means. Most of them are made of brass, and they're an excellent weight. This one is made of wood, the neutral pendulum, and it's a perfect example of the color therapy. It's quite big, as you can see, but it has these great points on it, which are colored in connection with your chakra points, so you can really uh, get specific about uh, balancing your chakras that way. It's a great tool to work with. And I think the last tool I wanted to show you was this awesome thing. It's a copper spiral, gold plated, and it's called the DNA spiral. And aside from being very <laughs> hypnotic to watch, its purpose is actually um, based on a feng shui concept of uh, balancing the energy in an office or a home. So what it does essentially is uh, clears the negative or stagnant energy from a space and also speeds up healing. So how it technically, I guess, <laughs> how it works is negative energy is meant to go up through the inner coil, gets sucked up through there, and then it kind of channels out this outer coil into cleared or universal energy. So, so a way you could really look at it is like a, a room purifier, but with uh, auras and energy. So my personal experience with pendulums is quite beginner. I have had my own gemstone pendulum for many years, but only rarely do I ever get it out and actually work with it. If you're somebody who um, 
has been working with their pendulum for quite some time and is interested in expanding their collection, or it's just somebody who's very deeply interested in learning more about dowsing, these tools are probably a great next step for you to really build on. Another excellent thing to do if you haven't already is to check out the Atlantic Dowser Society. I will leave their information somewhere so it's very easily clickable for you. But they're a great local group who um, gets together and does practice. And it's excellent for beginners to really learn about how to use their tools. It's actually how I learned about Alicia in the first place through them. And it's just great to kind of build your knowledge on. And excellent conversation as well. And last time we had cupcakes. <laughs> Anyhow, um, come to the shop, feel the pieces, check them out, see how they work with you, and um, that's it for now. More magical things to come.